Hi, it's Paul from TradingFifth.com, and this is my stocks signals video for Wednesday, the 17th of April. I'm going to take a look at PTC today. I'm already in this on a longer term swing on the weekly time frame, and this is a six month uh, plus trade. Uh, I'm already in, uh, we got in at $92. It closed around 97 yesterday. So, already in this, confident that we are in a reasonably good fifth wave move at the moment on the weekly, but I've got a signal on the 60 minute time frame using my multiple time frame strategy here. Um, it's had a pullback over the last few days as we could see on that weekly. So we've had this profit taking pullback which seems to have found support and rejected those lows yesterday uh, on the 60 minute time frame. Now I'm using the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite for the Think or Swim uh, platform from TraderFifth.com. Also available for Ninja Trader Multi Charts and TradeStation broker platforms. So uh, we are widely available now. Some of the things we look at on these Wave Four pullbacks. Uh, first of all, we, it pulls back into one of our probability zones. Uh, you can see here it did tip the just the amber zone there, but really this green zone seems to be acting as support, and that's an 85% probability if we start to move away from these lows that we're going to hit our automated fifth wave target zone up here just about $100.50 there. The next uh, thing we look at is the performance of the wave four. So we look at our Elliott wave oscillator and that's pulled back between 90 and 140%. The other um, part of our indicator suite is our false breakout stochastic. This denotes a really strong bullish trend if there are yellow dots in the overbought zone here. When the stochastic pulls back against there and crosses over in the oversold zone, it is likely to want to return to that main bullish trend. And that main bullish trend you can see on the week is a very strong growth stock. I'm already in a long-term investment on this, on that fifth wave on the weekly. I'm just looking to add to some profits by trading this on the 60 minute time frame for a potential fifth wave move there. Okay, so if we then go and look at the entry. Got to be sensible on this entry. We have got this previous wave three high, which was the which is basically the highest point on this fifth wave move so far on the weekly. So we've got that in mind. We've got this big resistance zone from the weekly time frame in mind. Uh, we did reject those lows. So first of all, the stop loss is just below that wave four at 96.88. The entry is above the high, way above the high of yesterday and outside our six four moving average high. This is a special moving average we have for long entries on our fifth wave um, strategy, part of the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So our entry is at 98.17. So it has to get there and do the work first. Then we've got a risk to reward of 1 to 1.6 into the bottom of the target zone there. But we must be aware once we get into this uh, resistance zone from the weekly, if it runs out of juice uh, at this previous wave three high, we're over 100% profit times risk there. As soon as we start to see any signs of uh, exhaustion, if you like, we can take profits. Not It doesn't have to hit the target, especially when we're in these highs. But this is a good looking setup. If we get that bullish momentum resumed today, we get a nice little trade into the end of the week here on PTC on the 60 minute time frame. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.